it's this sex party. It's a dinner party where sex is on the agenda. It's about swingers. We're having to talk about things that you rarely talk about. I remember reading it's like, well, this is really, really funny and smart. Why do it now? Because the government is in our business when it comes to marriage. The first page and a half or so uh, is someone uh, debating with a strong point of view against it, like the values of marriage and monogamy. And some of Bruce's agenda is like, okay, I'm gonna throw the good seeming liberal into a world where he or she is the minority and is uncomfortable. My character is Terry, T-E-R-I. Uh, she's hosting a party, she lives at the beach. Terry is, she's a great hostess. She's a, she's the dream role. She is a sweetheart of a nymphomaniac. And that's like what I've always wanted to play. She is an angel and she loves to have sex. Roger enters about 20 minutes in, and it's a different energy than we've seen so far. He's kind of a, kind of a, a, a loudmouth prick, uh, and in that regard, we're very similar. I identify with with the way he thinks. Quite, it's really easy for me. That's the way I talk to people. And I've never actually fucked a cow. That's about the that I'm willing to tell you. That's uh, that's about that's the major difference that I see. A colleague of mine from uh, my political world said, so did you, did they give you lines or did you just say what you wanted to say? These are, you know, people who don't understand theater. He was like, because that pretty much, that's how you would talk. I think Ken actually has some things that I wish I had. You know, we talk the same and we move the same, but he actually goes to places that I wish I could go. He has no jealousy. He lets things roll off his back until you come after the things he loves. And then he attacks you almost like a lioness. As soon as the audience thinks, oh, that's the point of view I'm gonna track, like that's, and, that, and that's the character that is sort of my spirit guide, then the, that character becomes a real douchebag or an asshole. And then you have to try to find someone else and it might be someone who you discredited earlier or who was discredited earlier. And that's delightful. You know, there's certain lines I have that I, I have found just require a level of commitment that means actually thinking about like, why would it be terrible to, to say, I adore this person, I love this person, I want to spend the rest of my life with this person. It's not necessarily the person I want to sleep with for the rest of, the only person I want to sleep with for the rest of my life. The conversation of marriage in our country right now, sure it's focused on marriage equality and gay marriage, but I don't know, I think, I think the heterosexual world has been yearning to have a conversation about marriage. I think the play is more about marriage and it's about sex. This really feels like a summer play. It's people coming over with, you know, the intent to screw around and have mojitos. Chicago in the summer, come on.